Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. Uh, I have a story to tell you that illustrates um, subconscious symbolism, which has been a topic I've often talked about in years past, and how subconscious symbolism, especially in the form of metaphor, uh, becomes a picture in the subconscious mind uh, that then may be acted out in real life in one way or another and so first I'd like to explain to you this this story is entirely fictional and but it is it's very helpful in understanding how the subconscious mind influences action in the world through metaphor and and symbolism all right, so in this story, uh, there's a person who imagines for, for quite some years that, that there are people speaking to him on the psychic plane through their own gut brains or subconscious minds. And the thing that they are muttering is, um, it's a slang word and it's off color. And it's, the fr it's three words. The first word is F dot dot dot. It's a, a profane word. And the next word is U. And then in the. And the next word is a kind of off color word. It starts with a B. And then dot 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 dot. And the next word is whole. And I've talked about this this metaphor, uh, this priorly, because it's, it's an extremely potent metaphor in the English language right now, especially amongst the younger set. And um, sorry, I can't just speak it online because this is, this is a general audience line and uh, I just don't like to shock anyone. So, so let's say this person kept on hearing this phrase muttered over and over again right and then uh, at the end of a long time they found out that there were some people of their acquaintance that had suddenly taken up um, rectal intercourse now rectal intercourse is is a like a visualization and an acting out on the physical plane of that very set of words that I just explained in an oblique manner to you. So it could be that the group of people that were subconsciously chanting that that profane chant, uh, some of them fell into acting out because of the undercurrent of 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 symbolic sound that was going on in their subconscious minds. Then another thing happened in this fictional story and that is at the end of a certain length of time, some years, there was a, a, um, a person who passed on and uh, they had had just let's say oodles of money and then um, That person, mm, let's just hypothesize, that person may have been involved with this, this group of people that was doing that chant in some manner. Um, and the person passed on, and then it was discovered that the estate had dwindled to a tiny fraction of the amount that it used to be. So, so all of the heirs to the estate had been subjected in a kind of a more symbolic manner to this subconscious slang that was going on. They had been F, you know, in the B, you know, whole. That had happened to them in a, in a, in a monetary sense. And to other people it had apparently happened through through acting out in the physical body. Now, if such a, a scene were to occur, it would be a prime example of the powerful influence of the subconscious mind through symbolism and metaphor on action in the world. 
So you can add this one to all those other stories about metaphor and acting out that, uh, that I used to talk about in my blog. Well, I wish you all the most pleasant of days and uh, lots of discoveries of the subconscious because the more we become aware of the subconscious mind, the less influenced we are to act out irrationally. Have a wonderful day and I hope the air where you live is not at all as smoky as the air in the mountains here. <laughs>